Real quick, today we're going to talk about the bevel modifier, what it does, all of its settings, and we're going to troubleshoot some problems you might have if it's not working the way you want it to. The bevel modifier can be added to an object in object mode, and it adds a universal bevel to all the edges. It's non-destructive, so if you don't like it, you can change or remove the effect later. This is used a lot in Blender. To add it, you simply go to the modifiers tab on the properties panel. Click add modifier. You can search for bevel or find it under the generate menu. Now you can see it's added a bevel on each edge of the object. There are a handful of options to change how this effect looks. We could have this modifier affect vertices rather than edges, but most people want to use this on edges, and that's what we're going to focus on. First of all is the width type. This tells Blender how we want the width of the bevel to be calculated. It defaults to offset, which usually works just fine, but the next option is to use the width of each face to calculate it. Similarly, there's an option to use the depth to calculate. I don't personally use these two because they don't give me the effect I want, but I'm sure some models have a use case for them. The next option is percent, which also gives non-uniform bevels, and I never use that either. I do often prefer to use the final width type of absolute. This ensures the bevel width is exactly the same on all the edges. The next setting is the amount. This makes the bevel larger or smaller, and it's pretty simple to figure out. The next is segments. By default, it's one. This means the bevel is using one segment, or one flat piece to round out the edges. One piece doesn't make the edges very round, so increasing this can make them much smoother, but at the cost of using more memory and having more physical geometry if we later apply this modifier. Applying a modifier means to make it permanent. The next setting is limit method. We may not want every single edge beveled, and this gives us options on how to control which ones are beveled and which ones are not. The default is angle, and there's a default angle of 30 degrees. This means only geometry that connects at an angle higher than 30 degrees will be beveled. We see on this model there are some 90 degree angles, and there are some that are smaller than 90 degrees. If we raise this to 85, it stops beveling a lot of the angles. This next part is super important, but I would like to ask for a like on the video if you're still watching. It means a ton to me. Thank you. The next option is weight. This gives us a lot of manual control to go in and change how much bevel different edges should have. Here's how it works. I choose weight and the beveling pretty much goes away. We can go into edit mode, open the sidebar menu by pressing in on the keyboard and go to the item tab. See down here we have bevel weight and it's set to zero. This can be adjusted for whatever edges we have selected. So if I press A in edge select mode to select every edge in the object, I can move this weight up to one. Now the bevel is being fully applied to all of the edges like before. In edit mode, these edges have turned blue to show that they have a bevel weight assigned. In some cases, this can make selecting edges a little bit harder because they're harder to see. We could turn off the modifier while in edit mode by going over to this icon and unselecting it. Now the geometry will look normal in edit mode, but we'll see the modifier's effect in object mode. It'll still show up in object mode and it'll still show up if you render. Let's say we did not want the bevel to affect the ring of edges where this top part extrudes from the bottom part or maybe we didn't want it to affect it as much. We could select just those edges, then turn the edge weight of those edges down. I'll turn on visibility again. Now the bevel modifier is beveling edges based on their assigned weights. This gives us a lot of fine control over the modifier, and it's all non-destructive still unless we apply the modifier. So that's the weight limit method. There's another one called vertex group which works similarly, but I never use it. I think the weight option is the more modern and easier way of doing this. These last settings I won't cover in detail as they're for really specific things and I wanna get into troubleshooting the bevel modifier. But this profile setting defaults to super ellipse and can be changed to custom. With custom, we can create custom shapes for the bevel to give it some design, but that's it for the settings. Now let's say you've added the bevel modifier and you either don't see it working or it's all screwed up. It happens and it's usually because of one of three reasons. Two of these things are really easy to fix. The third could be a lot more challenging. I've added a different model with a problem on it. If we add a bevel modifier and get something like this where the edges get all screwed up, it's probably a problem with our normals. Usually this is a really simple fix. What happened is our normals, specifically our face orientation, has gotten all messed up. Every face in Blender has a front side and a back side. And sometimes when we're modeling, Blender has to guess which one is which. In edit mode, we can go up to the viewport overlays icon and we can turn on face orientation to see what I'm talking about. See, some faces are blue and some are red. Blue are the outside faces and red are the inside. But we've got some of that screwed up. So I'll turn that off 
and you really don't need to go check that every single time. I'm just showing you kind of the behind the scenes of what's happening. The simple fix to all of this in edit mode is to press A to select everything, then press shift in to recalculate the normals. Now the bevel modifier is working like it should. And here's another model with a different problem. Here our bevel modifier isn't looking even. It's kind of stretched out. And that's because the model itself is actually stretched out and its scale needs to be applied. In object mode in the sidebar under item, we can see that this object's scale values are not set to one, like we always want them to be. To fix this, just select the object in object mode and press Control A to apply and choose scale. Nothing really changes to the model, except we've told Blender this is actually how big it's supposed to be. And the bevel isn't all stretched out anymore. The third problem you can have with the bevel modifier is bad geometry. There are too many things to demonstrate here, so let's just discuss it. If your model isn't made of quads and you've got a bunch of polygons, or even a few, that don't have perfect four-sided geometry, it causes a lot of problems for the bevel modifier. To fix that, you'll need to clean up the geometry or do a remesh or something. There are way too many factors to discuss depending on what your specific problem is. But with clean quad geometry, the bevel modifier works really well. If you choose to make the bevel modifier permanent, go over to the modifier properties, click the arrow and choose apply. This will bake in the bevel so it becomes the object's actual geometry. But know that you don't always have to do this. Unless you have a reason to make this permanent, just keep it as a modifier. The reason you'll need to apply the modifier is usually because you want to export it out of Blender. In that case, you need to apply it, but in most others you don't. Just leave it as a modifier if you can. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you.